over the past few weeks I've been focusing solely on stick vacuums but today will be different. I'll be unboxing a new product. So I've heard rumblings about a new robot from Roborock. So I emailed them to confirm this and they said yes, they have a new product and here it is. The Roborock S6 Max V. The most significant upgrade that the S6 Max V has over the S5 Max is the camera right here. Now Roborock isn't the first manufacturer to have the laser and camera combo. Other brands have done so. One of which is the Echovax Osmo T8. But Roborock is the first to have two, two lenses which gives it a 3D perspective when it comes to object recognition. Whereas the Echovax only has one lens that give it a 2D perspective. I don't know exactly how this affects obstacle avoidance practically so I will have to test this feature later on in this video. I have not tested the Echovax Osmo yet so I won't be able to comment on how these two products are different when it comes to this feature. But for now, let's unbox this. First thing you'll get is the mopping pad. Next is the user manual. You have the manual for the robot and the app. So this variant comes with an extra filter. Let's remove this here. This would be the mopping pad. So the variant I got would be the EU plug. So it has two round prongs. So here's the robot. Let me just try to open this quickly. So here's how the robot looks like. It has like the S5 Max that I got. It is a it has a black finish. And the sticker here is covering the camera up front. So let me just remove this sticker. So these are the lenses up front that helps the robot avoid obstacles. Here on top is the same LDS sensor or laser distance sensor. On top of the robot are three buttons. Opening this up, you'll have the same dustbin. So I believe that this is the same dustbin as the S5 Max. Right here is a brush and anti an anti tangle tool. You can see here that there is a blade on top, and the other side is the bristle part. Let's look underneath. So it has the same layout as the older S5 Max and S5 models, but it has upgraded side brush that doesn't have any bristles anymore. So this is. All of the prongs here are made from rubber. And here's the brush. So this is a combo brush with the blade and bristle combo. And right behind this robot is the water tank. So this would be the electronic water tank. Again, similar as the S5 Max. Lastly, we'll get this charging dock, and that's and that will be everything inside the box. So the next thing I'll do is pair the robot and the app. So there are two options. You can use the Xiaomi app or the Roborock app. So for this demonstration, I'll use the Roborock app. So right now let's wait for the robot to be connected to the app before we can use this product. Take note that this app will act as a remote control since the S6 Max V doesn't have a remote control. The robot and app are connected so we can use this robot right now. When I first heard about this product, I was really intrigued at how effective the camera is at obstacle avoidance. So I put in different types of objects as you'll see here such as slippers, 
Lego toys, a vacuum cleaner, a couple of wires, black socks, and a cup with pencils to see how the X6 Max-V handles this. One thing I observed immediately is that the camera has its blind spots. During the start of the cleaning cycle, it wasn't able to avoid the white spa slippers, but that didn't stop the robot, which is a good sign. But the robot wasn't able to avoid the vacuum underneath the bed. It didn't see the tube that was over the camera, so this happened. It didn't have any issues navigating around this maze, though the camera couldn't see the black legs of the chair or strobe lights. The way it navigated here was like any of the Roborock S-series robots that didn't have the camera, in my opinion. Everything was going well during the initial run, and I thought that the camera did an excellent job at spotting the plug here. Then disaster happened. This was the first hiccup in the navigation test, and the culprit was this Lego tire that completely stopped the robot in its tracks. One reason why the camera didn't see this obstacle is that it was out of its line of sight, which is considered a blind spot. Robora can address this by putting in a wider angle lens to reduce incidents like this, but I'm not familiar with the camera technology that they use, so let's leave it at that. Other than the tire incident, the S6 Max-V did fairly well in this test. It was able to avoid obstacles within the line of sight of the camera. I would say that this technology looks promising with a little more tweaking. You'll see in the clip that it pushed the cup forward, but gently so it didn't tip over and scatter the pencils. To give you an idea how the S6 Max V navigates, I recorded this overhead shot. Take note that prior to this run, I set an invisible wall using the app to block the path of the robot in this area right here. I'll talk more about the app in another video, which I'll record soon. So please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I publish it. A few notes about this run. First, I spread the obstacles farther apart. Yes, social distancing to see if the camera works. And for the most part, it did its job as the robot avoided the socks, plug, and water bottle. Everything went smoothly and it didn't get stuck anywhere as I blocked the area on the right side of the screen where the chairs are to save on time. One thing I did not test this robot on is poop. I wouldn't dare leave droppings on the floor and expect this to avoid those completely as there are a lot of variables to consider. As you've seen in the early part of the video, how the robot could not avoid the tire completely and eventually got stuck. So imagine if that tire was feces, it would be very disgusting to clean. To wrap up this video, the camera technology that Roborock put in the S6 Max V looks promising. It isn't perfect as there are blind spots, but the technology works as long as the obstacle is within the line of sight of the camera. Whether or not it can avoid wires and cables is completely up in the air, as there are instances where it avoided it and instances where it did not. So will I have to do more tests. However, I would suggest that you tidy up those small toys like Lego, as these are too small to be seen by the camera. As for avoiding stuff like slippers, it would depend. For people who like using hotel slippers, I'm afraid that you'll have to put these aside as the robot won't avoid it since it's too short. I haven't tested this on rubber slippers, so I'll comment on that after I do the test. There is still a lot to unpack with this product, so please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you'll get notified when I publish those. If you have any questions, please send them in in the comment section and I'll answer them as soon as I can. If you like this video, please hit that like button and share it with your friends who may be looking for a smart robot vacuum. And I'll see you in the next video.